It's just a wall of fern. Crazy greenery of this side and then the orange sand of this side. Good morning guys from Jalapau. We are staying at the Hotel Anwas Chitu Jalapau. We are going to check out their breakfast. Whenever we stay at hotels, we love to check out the breakfast. They're always a little bit different, but they're always really good. Well, usually. Okay, it looks like a full spread here. We have coffee, we have eggs. These sausages, still don't know the name of them, but we see them all over Brazil with breakfast. We have cheeses and breads. Cal de queijo, my favorite. The included breakfasts in Brazil are some of the best in the world. In Brazil they have big breakfasts with a bunch of things included, everything you could want. Which is much better than we're used to when we go to other countries. Guys, this is our favorite part of this hotel. It's a little pool. It almost looks natural, but it's actually a pool that they made. Built these to resemble the natural pools that are all around the Jalapao area. I'd say they did a pretty good job. The water is very clear. They have some palm trees. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit, and then we are leaving to some sand dunes and another place. <laughs> we kind of just explore as we go. We don't know exactly what's gonna come to this. It's not up to us. We have a guide who's showing us around. So that's why we don't know quite what's going on. They're just gonna take us to the best places in this area. Definitely gonna build one of these when I have a house one day. Aguas Eco Posada. Posada, I think that's how you say it. You guys keep correcting me. And we have messed it up a little bit with all of our stuff. Nice room. It's quaint, doesn't have much to it. Minimal, but it has a TV. It has air conditioning, which we need and love. And the Wi Fi is good. So we actually really liked our stay here. We recommend staying here if you come to this area. Aguas do Jalapao. Okay, guys, time to hit the road. I think today's gonna be pretty cool. So we just arrived at Susuapara Canyon. This is supposed to be a beautiful canyon, and we don't know much else. <laughs> Entering the canyon of Susuapara. Wow. It sounds like it's raining, but it's not. The water is coming down from the trees into the canyon. This was carved out by water after many, many years. This place looks very unique. You can see these, what look like stalactites hanging down, but they're actually, they look like, they're just roots. <laughs> they're just roots hanging down, a bunch of them, like 20 feet high, and all the water is coming down from them. Wow. It's just a wall of fern. So look what you can do here. Ah, 
you can drink this water. It is so fresh and clean. Tastes awesome. Guys, this place is outstanding. We did not have high hopes. We thought it was just a canyon. He just said it was a canyon. And we've seen many canyons, but nothing like this. Seems like a fairy tale world. We're the only ones here. It really does feel like you're in a fairy tale. You have the ferns and the moss growing on the side of the planet. The water dripping down. With all of these colors, it's like a rainforest down here. It's like there's a constant stream of waterfall, but it's not quite a waterfall. It's just dripping walls. It's all wet. The mosses, the dark green mosses, the yellowy mosses, the red rocks, and the orange pebbles that we're walking on. This place is crazy. Brazil, you're good. <laughs> good at keeping secrets. need anything else but just to look at it and be here and listen to the sounds, watch the water flowing all <laughs> around you. My favorite part is the dripping water. You know those sleep sounds you can put on at night? That's what it sounds like, this <laughs> constant dropping of the rain. Something about this particular spot, there's just a big ray of light coming down right here and then everything else is dark around you. <laughs> Alright guys, unfortunately we have to leave this awesome place. We, re we realized we didn't talk a lot about it, but we were having too much fun getting those drone shots. <laughs> so far we are loving Jalapau. If you guys want to come visit here, check out the Instagram account Jalapau Brazil Tips, and he'll help you out. He will help you to find some of these awesome places like this. There are even more amazing places here that we're not going to be able to see on this trip. and. It's hard to research this place since it's such a hidden gem still. So, yeah, if you want more info, you should contact him. His name is Andre. He's been amazing. And Jalapal is amazing too. Wow. Look at this road. 
We are in the middle of Jalapao. There is nothing for miles but these trees and this red road. Like an ostrich? There's an ima over here. Looks like an ostrich, like an emu. Hello! <laughs> wow, we are in the middle of nothing. We just know. stopped, we've been driving for around three hours. I don't really know how long for sure, but it feels like around that long on bumpy dirt roads. We're gonna get some lunch before we go to our next stop. Not sure what we're having. I'm guessing beans, rice, and meat. <laughs> a lot of what we're doing is a surprise, but they're taking care of us. If you want to clean your hands. You wash your hands in a, like a palm tree piece. <laughs> so it looks like we have some home cooking, family style. You just grab what you want. Rice, beans, pasta, chicken, beans and farofa, some salad stuff. You grab a plate and a glove. Quick stop to take a look at this river. Wow. Okay, our friend just told us that this is the longest river of drinkable water in the world. The world. You can just drink it straight out of that river, I believe. We remember these from Bahia. We found this giant grasshopper. Biggest grasshopper I've ever seen. Or cricket. No, not cricket. He's bigger than my finger. He looks like an alien. <laughs> okay, we're going into the parque now. This is Parque Jalapao. And this is where we're gonna see dunes now. So we had to fill out a form to come in here, give our passport number. What do you got? So let's go see some dunes. What city? We're spotting some sand dunes, but they look a little bit different than the ones that we've been used to, the ones we've been seeing in Brazil. These are vibrant orange. It looks like the sun is just setting on them, but it actually isn't. It's just this real orange sand that comes from the cliffs and the mountains that are right near here. They look red and orange like we saw yesterday. So yeah, different. These look cool. We're excited. So far we've had two days in Jalapao and what we're noticing is Jalapao has a lot of different things in one area. So we've traveled kind of all around Brazil. We've seen waterfalls, we've seen sand dunes, we've seen beaches. What else? Little lagoons. And we've had to travel all over Brazil to see all those different things. But for Jalapao, it's all in this area, which is really nice. So yeah, you can travel all over Brazil for a few months trying to see a bunch of beaches and rivers and lagoons and all of that. Or if you don't have much time, just come to Jalapao. You can spend a week or two here and see a lot of different things. So we just arrived to a stream. Before you get to the dunes, there's a stream that, kind of like a moat around the dunes. So you can't get to the dunes without walking into this orange stream. Look at that. <laughs> well, I have bad balance. 
Look at Look the color at of this. Bright this is. Wow. You can make war paint with that. Look, you have the crazy greenery of this side and then the orange sand of this side. Okay, we're up on the dunes now. Beautiful. They're not the most massive. They're not the highest dunes or the longest dunes or biggest area of dunes we've ever been to. But the color makes up for it. The orange color. And the forest around it, the contrast of the orange with the green makes it very unique. Don't fall over that easily. Ah, na 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 so this is the point where we would normally get a drone shot, which we know you guys love so much, and we love too. <laughs> yeah, we love it a lot. But there are signs posted all over saying we can't do a drone. It, might be because it's kind of a national park here. It might be because of state the park. <laughs> state park. Might be because of the birds. What do you call them? Parrots. parrots. We've seen a lot of parrots, so it might disrupt them. They don't like the drone. So yeah, we're not allowed. So we're just gonna show you from here. There is a river sweeping through this thing. A couple of what look like lagoons coming from the rivers. Greenery, dunes. It's so peaceful here. It's awesome. You could just stay for hours just looking out. Apparently it closes at 6, so we don't have much time left here. I don't think there will be much of a sunset because it's cloudy. I actually mm -hmm. just saw some lightning right as I was talking. Uh oh, we better get out of here. So yeah, we'll leave you with some spectacular views. And uh, then we're going back to the hotel. We have the best parts of Jalapau, some of the best parts are going to be tomorrow or in the next mm -hmm. video. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because the next video is going to be great and you want to get notified for that. Good night and we'll see you in the morning. Oh. Look at the parrots flying through the air. This is the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. So as you guys know, we put out videos on YouTube, we put out as much content as we can, but we can't put out everything on YouTube. We also have shorter video clips and photos that we can't put here. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram, Lindsay Travelbum and Alexander Travelbum. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these 
and subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you.